On August 14, 2018, our Ector County ISD Board of Trustees adopted a change to the local tax rate that requires voter approval. A tax ratification election, or TRE, has been called for November 6th. If passed by voters, it will mean an increase in revenue for our school district and an increase in the amount of property taxes paid by the citizens of Ector County. To understand the purpose of a tax ratification election, we start with an explanation of the tax rate. In Texas, a school district's tax rate is divided into two separate parts that fund different expenses. The illustration of two buckets is often used for this example. The first bucket is called Maintenance and Operations, or m and for short. The money that comes from this bucket is used for the day-to-day -day operations of the district. Things like salaries and benefits, supplies, utilities, equipment, vehicles, and more. The second bucket is called Interest and Sinking Fund, or INS. You will also hear it referred to as Debt Service. The money from this bucket can only be used for payments on voter-approved bonds. Money from this bucket cannot be used for maintenance and operations. The state's public school funding system is made up of a series of complex formulas that include a balancing mechanism. And when our local appraisal values rise and our school district gets more money from local property taxes, the state reduces the amount of funding it sends to us. For the 2017-18 school year, ECISD's maintenance and operation tax rate was $1.04, and the INS tax rate was $0.11, cents, for a total tax rate of $1.15 per each $100 of your home's appraised value. For the 2018-19 school year, the school board adopted an m and tax rate of $1.17 a slightly lower INS tax rate of 10957 cents and a total tax rate of $1.27957 cents. Because the adopted maintenance and operations rate is above $1.04, an election must be held and voters must decide whether the $1.17 M&O rate stands or whether that M&O tax rate will be rolled back to $1.04. If approved, the $0.13 cents increase in the maintenance and operation tax rate would mean an additional $18 million in local and state revenue for ECISD this year. It would also mean an increase in property taxes paid by Ector County citizens. According to the Ector County Appraisal District, the average home in Ector County now appraises for $170,873 and has a taxable value of $110,406. The taxable value is less because the state of Texas gives homeowners a $25,000 exemption and Ector County ISD gives an additional 20% local optional homestead exemption. If ECISD Proposition A is successful, it would mean a total tax increase of $16.05 per month for that average home. That increase breaks down this way. $4.09 per month is due to the increase in your appraised value, and $11.96 per month would come specifically from Proposition A. That's a total increase of $16.05 per month. Of note, for residents 65 and older, school taxes will not increase on their existing homestead property, even if the tax rate goes up. Why has ECISD adopted this higher tax rate? We have not changed the M&O tax rate since 2008, when it was set at its current $1.04. Again, the highest M&O rate allowed without holding an election. A look at the last decade shows a steady increase in taxable values for our district, which meant budget growth with the maintenance and operation tax rate staying at $1.04. You can see the drop. Primarily due to lower oil and gas values, ECISD's taxable assessed valuation dropped by more than $2.4 billion, that's 17.5%, between 2014-15 and 2016-17. During that same period, student enrollment increased by 2% to over 31,400. Today, ECISD enrollment is more than 33,000 students. ECISD took special action in 1988 
to grant a 20% local optional exemption for all resident homesteads, which is in addition to the state mandated homestead exemption of $25,000. The state formulas that determine how much funding ECISD receives penalize ECISD each year this exemption is granted. Legally, ECISD cannot repeal or reduce the local exemption at this time. If approved by voters, how would the money be spent? A community advisory committee made up of a cross-section of Ector County citizens began discussing a tax ratification election during the summer. On August 20th, this citizens group recommended the following priorities to the Board of Trustees. Because approximately 84% of the district's budget is allocated for people, the majority of the additional funds, more than $9.8 million, would be used for raises for all employees. All employees who are on the teacher salary schedule, that's teachers, nurses, and media specialists, would receive an increase of $2,500, making ECISD starting teacher salary $50,000 per year. All other employees would receive a 3.5% increase based on the midpoint of their own salary range or schedule. Additionally, $6.25 million will be used to pay insurance deductibles for repairs of roofs damaged by hailstorms in 2016 and 17. One and a half million dollars would be used to replace buses with more than 200,000 miles, and approximately $500,000 would be spent on controlled access for the front entrances of schools and fencing for elementary schools. This item will appear on a ballot as Ector County Independent School District Proposition A. Election Day is November 6th. Early voting begins on October 22nd. October 9th is the deadline to register if you want to vote in this election. We encourage everyone to get informed and get out and vote.